it's. I'm gonna go ahead and try one more world. And if I just die horribly again, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut it short. I'll show you guys around a uh, couple bases I've been building on some of the other packs. And uh, I guess we'll call it uh, an evening. Um, oh, you missed some of the earlier deaths before we. That was after we lowered the mob ca uh, count. But uh, yeah, uh, like I said, if I have another death, I'll go ahead and call the. Uh, First look over for the evening and uh, see if um, we can get this uh, ironed out a little bit better. And we'll uh, come back to this uh, here in probably another day or two once we, uh, Iskandar and I, get together and uh, discuss the solutions to. Nah, there. Uh, you actually helped out quite a bit on our uh, crash landing pack, so, you know, I don't mind. Uh, Going back in and letting you get, uh, letting you see a little bit more about this. Um, first off, we haven't got the uh, starting uh, inventory set up, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and start off in peaceful. And I'm going to go into NEI and I'm going to change myself over to cheat mode so I can get my uh, starting inventory. And that consists of a pickaxe, an axe, and a shovel, and a sword. Ethereal bloom and some torches. Um, eight torches, and then we got the books. So. Okay, so uh, now, Wolf, now that you're here, I can go ahead and show you real quick. Um, we're still using HKM. We're using uh, simple achievements and the encounter. I can't pronounce it in Kyradian mod. I'm probably torturing that, but uh, um, we're using the uh, simple achievements for the quest. So you, as you can see here, uh, we've got uh, these are just uh, concepts, uh, placeholder uh, quest. Uh, we'll flesh them out a little bit better in the details later on. But we got like farms, create to different farms, um, set up a ranch. We had to uh, which. Add-on was it Iskandar that adds the animal dishwasher? Can't remember which one it is. Uh, maybe you can post that. But gotta create, get us some animals. Um, once he gets implemented, tame a horse and uh, wolf or ocelot. Uh, no, this is uh, the uh, simple achievement mod. It's used in Sky Factory. Uh, it's used in the Sky Factory mod pack, and it just allows us to give. Uh, custom um, quest and whenever you get one done you just check it off and you know you've got it done and uh, as you can see right here this is the restore the world part we got remove taint from a 4x4 chunk square uh, restore at least four of the ancient trees and you need at least four silver woods um, and then of course we need to uh, do a uh, set up villagers this one has got a couple different uh, ways to create villagers so we can create our own village with four villagers and we need to do an iron golem um, now uh, the reason why we're using two mod packs versus the uh, HQM is the Chironian mod or the book mod is what I'm gonna call it uh, here it's this mod right here I can't pronounce it so but it allows me to add a custom book to the pack which allows me to add images, links, and all that other fancy stuff that you can't really add in the HQM quest pack. So, like here's my, you know, my table of contents. So, like if I needed to find out some information about Thomcraft for the pack, I can click Thomcraft and we'll have uh, any changes that we've made to the Thomcraft in these uh, next few pages. Of course, we'll do the same thing for Britannia and Clockwork Phase. Um, and of course you've got a return button, 
Also, I'm going to be adding uh, any of the major crafting recipes that we changed. We'll be adding into the special crafting tab so you can go in and see some of the recipes. We're not going to be adding all the new recipes, but just the main ones. But yeah, um, this book is completely customizable. As you can see here, I can add text. I can add boxes. Uh, boxes allow you to uh, create like a link. Uh, items, I can pick any item from uh, that are, is in the pack. I can do personal uh, images. Um, oh, I mean, or no, boxes is like the little background. Uh, jump is what allows me to add links and stuff. So it's really, we've got all the bases set up. We just got to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the rain real quick. But yeah, we've got all the bases set up. We just got to get everything fine tuned and get all the balance worked out. Um, Go ahead and remove the waypoints. Yeah, death, 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 death. Lots and lots of death. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's, we've got the layout pretty good, um, but it's really, really a rough uh, pack. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into normal mode now. And we're going to try another Let's Play. Uh, once again, I'm not going to try not to talk too much here. I'm going to let Iskandar do all the talking for me, so I'm just going to run and do what I need to do. Okay, I want to go... Oh, just get out of here. Yeah, see? Ah, and there we are. We got another death. It's that easy. I mean, <laughs> like I said, we've got to. That was with the uh, modified uh, configs that Iskadar sent me. Um, yeah, it's. <laughs> We've got to adjust my spawn because if I go. Um, go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, if I go to creative mode and. Um, yeah, let me go to the right places. Uh, options. I mean, it's actually a really nice looking world. I mean, the world gen is really good looking. Um, yeah, it's. This is probably one of the easiest packs I've ever played, um, Tibbs. Um, yeah, this this pack uh, makes Crash Landing seem like playing vanilla. <laughs> uh, later, Dire Wolf. Uh, thanks for uh, stopping by. I'm going to try and um, have... Uh, we're going to work on this and see if I can't uh, stream again and uh, get things worked out for you. Uh, hopefully the next stream will uh, uh, maybe uh, have better luck but I guess like I said I'm going to uh, go ahead and call it quits um, for now if you guys want to stick around I'm going to go ahead and do a quick uh, base tour of a couple bases of mine and um, I guess we'll call it an evening after that um, because I'm really not sure what else to do for tonight. Um, I mean, we've been playing for about an hour now, so that's not too bad. Got a good idea of how the pack's going to work. Ah, um, oh, no problem, Miss Um Like I said, we've that, that was the whole point of this stream was to show people what we're working on and see. Uh, Yeah, I mean, we're just trying to, like I said, uh, see what needs to be balanced and what needs to be fixed. Because we was talking about that earlier. Both of us need to play through it and see what needs to be added to the books and what needs to be fixed. Uh, the mob spawn in the early game is going to have to definitely be tweaked. Uh, 
I think once you get later on into the pack, it won't be the mob spawn wouldn't be too bad, but early game it's just gonna be brutal. So um, first pack I guess I'm gonna start up is the uh, regrowth pack, and I'll show you uh, that pack. And uh, get things going here. Yeah, um, since I was last worked on Crash Landing, my computer died on me. Ah. Uh, No, it, a tibs is not quite, I mean, it is playable, but you're going to die a lot. You may want to uh, set it to easy mode until we can get the uh, start uh, set up, the early game set up, because early game is just absolute murder. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it is playable right now. Um, it's just... Still rough. Um, so, uh, get some stuff loaded up here and I'll. What's this? Iskandar. All right, yeah, Escadar was uh, off looking at some uh, ideals to help out with the uh, pack. All right, guys, uh, my world's loaded up now, so I'm going to get the uh, world generated. Alright, here we go, switching back over to the game. So, this is my regrowth world. Not much on the surface. I do have a Batania set up with a, a Elven Manager pointed sh into the mountain. And yeah, this mountain is still extremely work in progress, so still got to finish doing all the uh, work to it, but be your main entrance. I try, I, that was one challenge that I wanted to, hang on a second, let me adjust that volume. That was one of the challenges that I wanted to have, uh, force myself, was to try and complete this pack underground. Because I knew that she was going to need a lot of space for all the crop stuff. And I wanted to challenge myself to see if I could do that while underground. So, come downstairs and we've got a Thomcraft area. I'm going to be using uh, all these hex platings. It's going to be purple hex plating walls. Uh, of course, all the floors are going to be technical blocks. And I think the ceilings will be the uh, Tyrion uh, ceilings. But this here, the red room, will be blood magic. Uh, over here we got the uh, farms. This is just my uh, general purpose area, setting up uh, crops and breeding them, stuff like that. This over here is my automation farms. We've got golems, they just uh, harvest them. And then underneath here, I've got a hopper hawk attached to a chest. And I've got some buildcraft pipes pumping into a uh, drawer controller. Which sorts everything into all my drawers. Real simple, easy. And I'll tell you what, once you get the automation set up, 
you get so much resources that it is just insane. But I mean, I've got crops. I got fields over here. This is where I take and uh, upgrade the crops. And I'm not even using this area anymore. Back here would be the uh, farms. Of course, on the other side, I've got a few other crops on the other side of the main area. Uh, haven't got them set up yet. Haven't really had much need for all these crops. Got all my flowers. Witchery and another area that's not even finished yet. And then, of course, my arbory. This will be all my trees and stuff. So that's my farm area. And I do have a shortcut here that cuts between over to my witchery. I've basically just color coded all my rooms black for witcher, green for my uh, growing things. And off over here to the left for light green is going to be my botania setup. Over here I've got automated or semi automated uh, altar setups. Uh, back here is just some dispensers with a wand and four them set to a hourglass. And all you do. In order to get the hourglass to repeat, is just uh, take a redstone signal off of it, from it, and feed it back into itself, and it creates an infinite loop, and it'll just tick over every five seconds. And all you do is add your ingredients to the hopper, and it goes through the crate, and drops onto the altar, and you walk away. Uh, it'll automatically uh, click it, get it started, and click, uh, you also put your uh, living, uh, stone in there. And it'll drop on there. Just wait until it's done. Once it's done, it'll click it. Hopper Hawk picks up everything but the living stones. So everything goes into the chest. Simple little automated setup over here is my uh, crafting area for like uh, for major crafting and of course my oven gateway. And for smaller crafting, I've got this room over here. A pillow apothecary, craft tables, such. And I'm sure you're looking around going, I know that those day blooms and night blooms are not enough up there. But yeah, that mana spreader is connected to those day blooms. Okay, here. Uh, you can see I've got a fluid pipe with lava in it. I break through right here. That's pumping into a floodgate, which is pitting the thermal lilies. Now, that's not the only thing I started with. That was just a uh, added power system. My main power is below that. Um, I have been seeing this. I just recently started seeing this on YouTube. But, um, yeah, this is another thing I noticed about this pack. When I updated it, I started getting origin. And I don't know why. If anybody knows what caused that, let me know. But... I've seen this recently on YouTube, but I've had this set up for quite a while now, and it's just a line of floating hydrangeas that goes way down through there, and the center is just a 3x3 three three area of water. Let's see here if I can get into here. I don't have a thing on me, but I'll probably drown here. Yeah, it's just a... Uh, All the way down and because this is a three by three they will never run out and this thing produces an insane amount of mana um, now one problem is that these uh, flowers only have a limited range so I had to add a, a mana spreader down here towards the bottom um, with a uh, phantom lens on it and that just feeds up to the distributor and it just distributes it throughout the system and I've got uh, recessive sparks on all the uh, pools that feed into all the pools into the different areas for crafting course downstairs the last two areas we have is my fishing area got to finish getting it set up and 
my tech area. Over here is kind of my crafting area. Of course, over here is my blast furnace and oh, throw the book on the ground and my coke ovens. Um, got my smeltery set up here, and I've just got this set up on a infinite loop with a clay transport pipe which in which tries to insert into a machine before it goes anywhere else so uh, when it pumps out of the chest it'll try and go into the smeltery controller if it can't then it'll bounce back and go into the chest but it always tries to go into the controller first and of course behind this is my power room solid fire uh, solid fuel boiler set up uh, Producing crazy amount of power. Over here, I got my liquid fuel boiler, and fueling that is oil. I've got decided to use some railcraft to uh, set things up. So the tank just goes over here to the end of my little tunnel here, and gets pumped down, gets loaded up, and it goes, that's about it. So that's the base there. I think that's about it for the base. Now I'm stuck. So I do not know why it did that, but it started spawning ores when I updated the pack. I've just been... I'm at the point now to where I've got so many, so much resources that it doesn't bother me anymore. But it still kind of confuses me. So, uh, what do you guys think there? That's my uh, reed growth. Uh, Iskandar's been doing some work. Looks like he's says he's got it fixed. So, uh, if he can get it fixed here while I'm doing these base tours, we might jump back over to see if it does do any better. All right, so uh, thank you. Uh, let's see here. Go ahead and jump into another world. So what do we think? Pathfinder or Infinity? I really like my Infinity build pretty good so show you that while uh, Iskadar continues working on that on the uh, Sins of the Past mod pack and uh, yeah the hex blocks I normally don't use them because they're really busy to me but for this build I wanted to you know do something completely different and I figured you know color code everything using the hex blocks so uh, this next pack uh, is the uh, Feed the Beast Infinity pack. Uh, I did add Z tones to it because I wanted some extra pretty box to deal with because I'm big on design. That's basically my job for Iskandar's all the design work. Um, as Kennard does the pack, comes up with the ideals, uh, the mods, stuff like that, and then I do all the uh, design and the pretty work. We seem to work pretty good that way. Uh, so, yeah, I've uh, been trying to get out of my normal build patterns. Normally, I do either a high tech, above ground base, or I'll go medieval, something like that. So, I've been trying to do things a little bit different lately. It's really hard. It's been really hard though because, like I said, uh, back in New Year's, my computer crashed, and the only other computer I had wasn't even launched Minecraft. I got a uh, donor pack given to, or a donor computer given to me, and um, it would play Minecraft, but I'd have to close out of everything. I'd have to go into Task Manager to close out of everything that was not absolutely needed. And then it'd take me 20 minutes to launch the pack. 
And then I was lucky to get 15, 20 frames a second. So building was just horrible. Um, as to, uh, and then a couple days, uh, about a week ago, uh, Iskandar uh, decided, um, had upgraded his computer. And uh, he wanted to donate his old one to me. And um, I'm really appreciative of him doing that. And not only that, I ended up getting my wind. He lives on Virginia side. And I ended up having my windshield on my van got busted. Um, and I couldn't go on the Virginia side. So he drove over 11 hours round trip to come all the way down here and drive back home just to bring me his old computer. And it's actually making things a lot easier for me to help him out stuff, but, uh, that, uh, so Iskandar is really a great guy. He's, uh, easy to work for, and I think he's about got things done. I'm going to save this. And, um, uh, he just sent me the, uh, new, uh, uh, updated version of the pack, so I'm going to be getting that started here in just a moment. Uh, hang on just a minute, my kids just got home, uh, we go take care of them real quick, and I'll be right back in touch with you. Sorry about the interruption, people. All right, guys. Sorry about that uh, interruption. Um, I about got this new pack going here. All right, here we go. Back to the game, and this is, like I said, this is my uh, Feed the Beast Infinity pack. Um, Got to recharge my jetpack, but Draconic Evolution. Um, Got my little farm set up here. Decided to go into the desert and build me a nice looking pyramid. Um, and I've got, I wanted to keep everything kind of, uh, simplified. I didn't want to have any big builds visible, but like, this is just my little workshop here. Uh, got my Tcon area here. And this here is going to be my AE room. Stairs will be Thomcraft. Um, not sure where I'm gonna do Blood Magic at yet. And then upstairs is my bedroom. But see if I got enough power here. So it's a fairly simple design, but it works. I've, like I said, all my builds, I've never once done a playthrough of Minecraft and finished a build uh, at all. I've never done it. I'm always adding stuff to builds. Uh, it's just one of my things. Um, but if we go over here into the machine room, we have a secret entrance to my machine room. 
big reactor. I'm going to be setting it up for uh, a couple turbines I've got in the wall over here. Some of the new uh, cryo stabilized flux ducts feeding into everything for now. Got a uh, weather farm back here. Weather killer. Uh, this is going to be a specialized mob farm, and over here is just my generalized mob farm. So that's this base here, basically. I mean, like I said, it's a really simplified base. But, you know, I, I like it. And I really do like this Draconic uh, uh, Evolution. It's a, uh, I've been having a lot of fun playing with it, learning about it. And the late, latest updates have gotten quite a bit added to it. So I'm looking forward to uh, testing things out and seeing how things work with that. So that's that. Um, okay, uh, looks like my download's done. Let me go ahead and um, get this new uh, pack installed. And we'll see if this helps out any. He's adjusted it so that mobs can't spawn as close as they were. Apparently, uh, what was the problem was uh, mobs were just spawning way too close to the uh, player. And that's the reason why we were getting uh, uh, mobs spawn as bad as they were. Um, Draconic Evolution. Yeah, that is a extremely overpowered mod, but it makes you work for it. I mean, it makes you work hard for that mod pack. Uh, for that mod. Um, let's see here. Alright, here we go. Installing the new mod pack now. But uh, Draconic Evolution, um, back to that mod. Uh, good grief, that, <laughs> just the tools and stuff that you, you can have available to you. And then that, you end up like having like the biggest, uh, you can sit there on my uh, pause screen there. That, that is a tier 5, and it holds just an insane amount. That's not even the highest tier. Highest tier is tier 6, and I think it can hold up to like 2 trillion RF. I mean, it's incredibly insane. Can't remember the exact details, so don't quote me on that, but... uh, Yeah, it's... If you check, if you watch um, Echo the Builder, he's got a tier 6. He's got like... He's got like eight turbines running full time, and he still hasn't filled up his um, tier six. So, yeah, it's uh, a beast. It's really quick. Okay, guys. Let's see here. Get everything set up again. Ah. Uh, I forgot to add my Twitch chat to this, but uh, I ain't going to worry about it right now. I'll just kind of... Try and keep an eye on it over here on the side. All right. All right, here we go. So, going back to uh, normal difficulty. I see here music and sounds. Make sure to turn that down. Um, 
controls. I remember. Iskandar, um, when we pack this thing up for use, we need to make sure that we don't include the options um, as well. That way, uh, people have a uh, default. Uh, will have default configs. That way, they can set it up as they need it instead of uh, coming to uh, have to make sure everything's where they should be. All right, here we go. Take two. Or how many takes is this now? <laughs> Take four, five, something like that. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm hoping I have better luck this time. Man, I, I don't think I made it past 10 minutes in this game. All right, so now we got starting inventory. We even got gear. Oh, yes. I feel safer already. Um... Where do I want to go to? Oh, I need somewhere with water close by. Because the farming is going to be murder in this game. Good grief. It started already. I see some water over that way, so I'm going to head for that. Oh, man. I'm not going to make it. Oh, man. Uh, hey, how's it going, Headshot? Welcome to the uh, stream of death. Because that's about all this stream is right now. It's just me dying a lot. Uh. Try it again. <laughs> Take 32. There we go. <sighs> what the? Straight off the bat, as soon as I even, before the world even loads, I'm getting attacked by chickens. This is just... Good grief. Iskandar, whatever you did didn't help. No! <laughs> that was the fastest step yet! I didn't even get a chance to, to run! Hey Blue Flash, how's it going? Oh. Take 64. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm glad you guys decided to stop in and watch <laughs> the everlasting death. Thanks for the follows, you guys. Uh, 
Well, at least I started off beside some water this time. Oh, there's this is a good spot to spawn. Uh, I'm gonna just, just Iskandar, you're back on. So talk to these guys. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna try and bury myself as deep as I can. I'm gonna go underneath the water. That way I can dig up and get water coming down into my base below ground. Actually, first I need to get just a little bit of wood. Creepers. Just stay away long enough for me to get some wood here, people. No, people, I'm not fighting either. So if I can lead them away from my hole here. Good grief. At the mobs. Heck, go over there and kill those guys for me. I'm just a horde, okay? Just, just go away! Let me get in the water. At least I can fight in the water. <laughs> Look at this! It's a Congo line! Just line up to beat on me, why don't you? Water fighting is the only way to fight normal mobs. I just hope no skeletons show up. There we go. Creeper doing some work. Good grief. Oh, oh yeah, the armor. If I could stop for two seconds to get the armor on. Does it start off like this every time? So far, yes. So far, it has started off like this every single time. I think I can get to my corpse this time, so... Yeah, we're, we're trying to fix this. Uh, we made a few changes. It's helped out some, but it's still not perfect. What is... <sighs> okay, guys, I'm going to have to call it for the night. Um, yeah, I'm just going to have to call it for the night. Um, let's see what Eskadar is saying to me. Yeah, uh, was just tweeting to me, uh, he's saying that mobs shouldn't be spawning during the day, so we have to figure out what's causing that. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call this stream for the night. Um, I'm gonna talk to, uh, Iskandar, and we're gonna try and see if we can't figure out what's causing this problem. So, uh, if you want to, go ahead and, uh, I've got links down in my, uh, information page. You go down, uh, I've got uh, links for Iskandar's Twitter, as well as uh, links for, uh, thanks for the uh, follow. But uh, there's links for both mine and Iskandar's uh, Twitter page, so go ahead and follow us on Twitter. I'm going to be doing a, another live stream of this once we get uh, some of this fixed up. Also, I'll probably be doing some other packs. I'm thinking uh, Agrarian Skies is uh, finally updated. They've got the uh, quest set up for it, so I'll probably uh, start doing a live stream of that. What I'm thinking about maybe doing is live streaming Agrarian Skies in the uh, morning about 8 o'clock, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, and then doing a random live stream at about 8 o'clock at night, 7, 8 o'clock at night, so for the next couple days of the random live stream will probably be uh, the uh, sins of the past so we can just uh, get an idea of what's going on with it um, so that's what I'm planning in the future like I said uh, grand skies in the morning and maybe uh, some atonement 
in the uh, evenings. So, uh, thanks everybody for uh, coming and hanging out. Hope to see you again. And uh, until next time, uh, see you.